like this. Hello my darlings and welcome back to another vlog. Today is an extremely exciting day because today I'm actually going to start the beginning of what will be my wedding dress. We are going to go see designer Lisa Van Hatem and she is going to be the one creating my dress and we're gonna be designing it together. So I wonder if I can pop you. Oh, there's actually no middle part there. So we are gonna go to her studio basically. Today is also kind of exciting because it's 15 degrees outside, which means that we are in full autumnal mode and I have to show you my new setup up in the hallway. I'm gonna do a full hallway transformation video, so if that is posted, I will post that up above. But I feel like I have all of the emotions right now because after trying on quite a few dresses and not exactly finding the one, but finding elements of the one, I'm just so thrilled to get this going, you know? And I think what will happen is we're gonna go and there's going to be like, she's gonna pull out all the fabrics and all the lace and like all of the different elements that you would see in a Parisian couture spot where they make dresses from scratch. I can't wait to bring you behind the scenes. Ray is also coming because we are going to be capturing the whole process for Lisa as well and for the blog. So along the way, after the wedding, I'm gonna release everything, like all of the steps. So this is, oh, it's pouring rain all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, oh no. So anyways, I am going to show you my outfit and we're gonna get going and grab an umbrella, apparently. So we officially have a new outfit here as we leave the door, which is always so convenient to check your hair and everything. But I'm wearing this Joseph sweater dress. It's a cashmere wool blend, so it is extremely warm. I don't know if you guys remember, but I purchased this actually, let's turn this on. I purchased this actually in the summer when it was 40 degrees outside and <laughs> I was just so looking forward to this day. Pairing my little hoops with it. I have this Loewe belt, but it is so big. I wish, I wish, wish, wish I had purchased it in the correct size. I think I'm gonna try to go somewhere to get some extra holes punched in that. My Chloe Woody tote and then some Stuart Weitzman boots. This is a very, very fall look and I'm just so excited to get this started. So let's go to Lisa's studio. meeting with Lisa. Oh my goodness. It was so cool. Like I knew it was going to be a cool experience, but I didn't quite, you just, there are some moments in life you just can't really fully prepare for until it actually happens. I think the moment that was completely sobering for me or just really like brought me right to the present moment was when I started describing the elements of a dress that I would love. She already had my secret Pinterest board based on what I had kind of discovered through trying on dresses. And the moment that was so cool was she had her notepad and she started drawing, drawing the dress that I'm going to wear on my wedding day. And not only like just drawing a wedding dress, but drawing my dress that we were literally quite, quite literally designing together right there in that moment. And it was just, so cool to be in that experience and I'm so grateful that I have the chance to do this, honestly. And then Ray came as well. I don't know if I mentioned that before I left because I know I was in um, quite a rush, but Ray came as well and she was snapping pictures. I hired her for the hour to come and she was also so excited. So she's like, oh, I'll give this to you half price because she was also so excited to come. So I'm so grateful for her help coming and snapping pictures and just having that be a little 
time capsule in life. I truly felt like that was a core memory when she started drawing the dress. It was so crazy. And then having my mom there was so nice too. She is an incredible, I, I wouldn't say seamstress, but my mom is incredible behind the sewing machine. She's made so many of their drapes. She made her Halloween costumes when we were kids. She made me dresses and matching scrunchies when I was a kid. Like she is pretty amazing when it comes to the sewing machine and her family used to have a factory. So I was honestly just really excited for her to also have that experience with Lisa to kind of hear the behind the scenes. And Lisa is also so amazing because what was so cool was we would like propose ideas and then she would tell us whether they would work or not or whether they'd be too overwhelming. And then we got talking about fabrics and she pulled out all these fabrics and then we were talking about the ideas we had and how we could build them and how we like layer the fabrics and the tool and she brought up all the laces and I was deciding whether I wanted a lace and just, oh my gosh. I'm just so, 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 so stoked and I'm so excited for you guys to be along this journey with me and just to have Lisa as the person because she is not only a perfectionist, she is incredibly talented and she truly just cares about the people who come into her door. So I'm so, so excited. Also, my mom and I went for a lunch after and we both got teary because we were also so excited. And I feel like, I don't know whether this installment will be in this vlog or another one, but I feel like when I was trying on wedding dresses, I left still feeling confused and still feeling like uncertain and almost uneasy of whether I would find my dress because there were elements of different dresses that I loved. And I don't know if that's just me or everyone. I think that if you go in and you try on a dress and you fall head over heels in love with it, you are so lucky. That is incredible that that has happened to you or potentially will happen to you. That most certainly happened to my best friend, Rebecca. She tried on this one dress and we were just like done. Like it is perfect it just needs to be fitted to you and going through this experience and having these different elements pulled together that are just so me and then talking about something very special to do with the dress that is going to be so cool throughout the day um yeah i just can't wait for you guys to see it but i also can't wait for it to come together so tonight i'm going to an event with chatters so i'm gonna get ready for that i have a ton of emails and admin to do so it is currently 3.30 and I'm bringing my friend Sarah, who you guys have met a million times over now. Um, she's coming with me, which is always so nice just to have a friend with you and you can chat and, you know, just treat it as a hangout and then also have this incredible brand that you get to kind of experience along the way. So we're going to go together and uh, that's in Brampton. Quite a drive. We're going to take the 407. And so I'm going to get all my admin bits done and then I'm right now actually going to figure out what outfit I'm going to wear and then send it to Sarah so she knows what I'm gonna wear so we can get a plan to be similar and uh, continue on with this beautiful, beautiful day. I am full of a sandwich and a cappuccino, but that cappuccino didn't really help. I kept yawning, I had to cut it out of this little chat because I, uh, oh, I just feel sleepy, emotionally overwhelmed, but so excited, so excited. <laughs> We finally have this mirror here. So quickly, a little outfit, because I have to go so quickly. This is a top from Zara that has some really pretty ruching there and it's got that total 60s, 70s vibe. I'm also wearing these very French trousers. I don't know if you can see those pockets. They're from Cezanne. They're my favorite thing ever. I just checked, they're sold out, but if they do come back, I will put them in the description box. I'll put them there anyway, so you can create alert, an alert when they come back because they are incredible. I'm wearing the little white skating boots um, from Linterbell and I have this jacket and my Chloe tote as well, but I'll just show you the outer layer because maybe I'll get Sarah to help me get on full outer layer, full layered look when we are on the go, but it's time to go pick her up some Starbucks and pick up Sarah. I just parked to pick up Sarah. I'm so excited. I love going to these events with girlfriends, especially Sarah. She makes me laugh so hard all the time as you guys probably already know I just had such a good chat with my mom as well let me know like car drives obviously that's so redundant car drives drives are my favorite time to call people 
and just have a quick chat. Like Rebecca, for example, I'll just call her out of the blue and say, do you have five minutes? And then I'll only take five minutes. Then I'll call someone else. <laughs> but I honestly feel like this is my challenge to you this week is on a drive when you're on your own, put your AirPods in, AirPods, make it safe but just randomly call someone out of the blue and ask them if they have five minutes for a very quick catch up. And I honestly, trust me, it'll make your heart feel so full. So like I said before, I don't know how much I mentioned, but we're going downtown to Brampton. We're going to a Chatters event. I'm not sure what to expect. They did ask me for like the plus one name, the guest list. So I assume that there's going to be like something going on there. I, it's not like a full on dinner, but my beautiful manager, Osa, said that um, it should be a lot of fun. It's for partnership with the Dress Code Project to create a safe space. And it's all about introducing their new salon that's going to be down at this location. Let's see if there's anything else. First glimpse of their new flagship location, receiving hair touch up from talented stylists, checking out new private salon station and enjoying games and snacks, of course. Guests will leave with product samples from a few of several brands from Chatters that Chatters carries online and in store. Chatters is now Canada's largest salon chain that offers gender free and inclusive service menus. Love to hear it. So I'll show you, hopefully I'll be able to get a bunch of snaps sometimes at events it can get stressful because you also want to be present, be chatting with the people who invited you and sometimes because we don't have coworkers, like obviously when I'm working at home I don't have a coworker beside me editing with me or shooting with me, it's just little old me. So sometimes when I see fellow bloggers or content creators it feels like seeing my coworkers and I get very excited. Um, and we have a little community also picked up a Starbucks and I just got two of the same order because this is Sarah's order and I love trying other people's Starbucks orders and this is the grande chai tea latte added an oatmeal base and I love a chai tea latte and this is just with oat milk I said oatmeal base that would be disgusting <laughs> can I have some oatmeal in my chai latte please <laughs> no thank you <laughs> oh my goodness look at this oh, angel lovely. that you outfit is perfect <gasps> Oh my gosh. This is how you know you have really good girlfriends. You see each other for the first time in a moment and you're just like, oh my, oh my god, god. So you're so cute. 30 seconds. <laughs> I believe that you are the one.
a very good morning to you guys. I am wearing this beautiful sweater from Zara. I ended up having to return a couple of things and I couldn't get the cash back, so I was frantically trying to find something I liked and I'm actually so, so, so glad that that happened because I love this sweater so much. Just doing a couple of little tucks I feel like makes it look so elegant and it has this slit on the side so I tucked in the front. These jeans are also from Zara but I don't know, some things you get there and the quality is amazing and then some things, I think it's on this bum or it's on this side, the like seam is coming undone from the pocket so I'm gonna have to fix that which is kind of annoying but nonetheless, a little cozy potato outfit today because um, after that workout, today is kicking off getting back set and sorted and getting back organized for the season. I feel like I have so much editing to do, I have so much admin to do, but I also have a video to film. So we are just getting a cozy on the couch. I was just chatting to my best friend, Rebecca. She gave me a call, which is always so sweet. And we had a very quick catch up and I was like, why am I so tired right now? It's because I haven't even had my tea yet, but. I am so in love with these. They are brightening my day every single time I come in the house and every single time I come down the stairs. Adding some fresh flowers and candles and I added this little pumpkin home decor there. But I think that might be again in a different video. Okay, so let's go. I just brewed my tea. I cannot wait. By the way, can I just tell you guys, I cannot wait until we run out of this kitchen. I'm so sick and tired of it. <laughs> it sounds so bad, but. Having this house is amazing and doing all these renos is amazing, but we do so much in the kitchen and even like for different sponsorships and all this stuff, I wanna be able to do them in the kitchen because it just makes sense for a lot of the things, but it's just so dark. It's just so dark, it's not me at all, but tackling a kitchen is like a whole nother level of renovation. What I think I'm gonna do though is a temporary Kind of cover up before we do the big one. Now I've painted this whole room obviously, the white from what it was and we're going to be changing this as well in a completely other video and probably later in the season. I have some dreams about what I want the fireplace to look like and my goal is to get it done before Christmas so we can have our stockings hanging, hanging with care. But uh, for now, some editing. I just brewed my tea in my beautiful indigo mug which I am obsessed with because it's a little pumpkin. Let's get cozy, let's get sorted. Laundry, bed, make the bed, change the sheets, do all the things, be a human. <laughs> you are so cute. Hi, oh hi. Hello. Also, I desperately want to remember to show you guys what was in the little PR gift pack when we left Chowders last night. So don't let me forget that. I'm definitely going to show you that. And maybe that will be my incentive after I get some editing done. I have been non-stop editing this video the last one, the last vlog for our engagement party. And I took a little break because chugging teas, I'm just like, I gotta go to the bathroom, but I wanna make another tea. But this is like one of my favorite parts of the day is seeing Rosie, our little tiny sun dog, sunning herself. And it just reminds me to take a deep breath and almost appreciate the little things. So I wanted to share it with you because maybe you also need the same reminder. She just like loves laying in the sun and if I put her blanket out, she will just find the sunbeams everywhere and she will always want to lay on her blanket. <gasps> Look how sweet you are. You are lovely. You are lovely and I love you. Oh my goodness. Cozy Rosie.
quite the full day of editing and prepping the video for the weekend but I am feeling so good. It has been such a good day. I just made the bed and I realized, you know what, formally, I actually haven't talked to you guys about our new bed set. And um, we are so excited to have a new bed set. This is all from Pottery Barn. Those lamps are from Target from the Studio McG collection. I ended up finding them when my mom and I were um, in the States. I turned it on here right now, but we have Philips Hue bulbs in there. So those allow us to just kind of turn them on on our phone and then this is a part of the julia broltzheimer um her collection with pottery barn i got that from anthropology a really long time ago and the little like duvet that's not really a duvet what do you call those when it's the thin sheet it's thinner than a duvet this like a bed cover it's not a sheet it's kind of a duvet but <laughs> but not fluffy <laughs> let me know in the comments down below so this is obviously all new and I do want to take you guys through, I was thinking what would be a really fun video is resetting the scene because I want to do a bunch of home renos. You guys have seen me change that meant. I just hung up this little painting as well. It just goes so nicely. I need to get rid of this. <laughs> like I want to get rid of that so bad. Hopefully I'm not making you too sick by turning around a whole bunch. And last but not least in here as well, I also got my desk my lovely laundry that I have to put away still. But I got this chair from HomeSense. I've had that pillow for a long time. This is also part of the Toulouse collection from Pottery Barn. Absolutely obsessed. Found this in the States at Macy's. Got these at Hobby Lobby, <laughs> which my first time going to Hobby Lobby, wow. If you are from the States, like, wow. <laughs> what an experience. It's basically like Michael's craft store, just to the nth degree. I found this little tray on Amazon. I will link that down below. This is from Anthropology, and I got this from HomeSense recently. I just popped a couple of nice photos in there. And then that's from HomeSense, and I hung that frame there. The frame that I got from HomeSense for my desk, it's so funny because in the last vlog, when I was putting together my bridesmaid boxes, I had all of their frames set out on my table for a little while just because I hadn't constructed them yet. And I was like, oh my gosh, I miss these photos of my girlfriends on my desk. They were never meant for me, but I love them so much. So what I think I'm gonna do is do a completely separate video that's a bit more focused, maybe like under 10 minutes, just very succinct, talking about the renos that we've done so far and what's next on the docket, like, getting a window seat done for Rosie and not having a garbage bag up in our top window. But you know what? i rather show these parts in the in-between because that's where we're at right now. And we're just sorting it out um, for that garbage bag up in the top there. I do have the rods that we will eventually have for curtains, but with those rods, we actually have to have curtains made. And my mom's gonna do that for me, but we need to go back down to Ottawa Street to find some fabric. So, say la vie. I feel so good in this room and it's coming together and over here, I want to do two built-ins as we've talked about before and and clean it up and just figure out how we can make some really beautiful scenes especially for filming and honestly just for living in so that's where i'm at right now bed's made i need to put away my laundry i'm too hungry though i need to go have another snack because i realized i didn't really have lunch i just had like tomatoes and carrots as a snack to tide me over so i'm gonna go have basically like another kind of snack like that and i'm gonna start making dinner for me and scotty and then I'm gonna edit another video or get a certain video kind of to the point it needs to be for when I continuously add footage as I go. And that's like wedding stuff where it's like looking for a venue or my dress story. I wanna have those like edited up into a certain point so that when it is the final, I can just tack on the, the end footage if that makes sense. Edit as I go, clean as you go. <laughs> that's what I do when I'm cooking, that's helpful too. I think I'm having salmon tonight, but let's go down and figure out what we're doing, what we are doing for dinner. Before I head down for dinner though, I do wanna say, I do have quite a few new bits in, in, my, in my wardrobe. I just sat on Rosie's puppy and I was like, I hope that doesn't squeak as I sit down, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> I do have a few new things in my wardrobe for fall that I've been collecting over the past bit. And I was thinking, instead of including that in this vlog, I'm gonna include that in a separate video, but I will tag this sweater and what I wear in this video down below in the description, just so that you've got it 
because this hopefully is still in stock. I got it from Zara, but run to that description box if you would like to get this sweater. We do have good food, and recently I got this Atlantic salmon good food recipe. I think Scotty put it, oh, I hope it's still up here. Yes, this, honey, soy, salmon. So I think I'm gonna make this for myself and then Scotty, because he's not a big fish guy, is gonna make something else. So let's put this together. This isn't the most flattering lighting, but I will say, um, a few weeks ago, Scotty and I got the Always Pan. I am gonna do a little TikTok for them, so they just sent it over, and it has been so awesome. Honestly, such a good little addition to our kitchen, and I love having it in the sagey green color because this is kind of the vibes of what we want our kitchen to be soon. So Scotty's actually cooked with it so much more than so much more than me, and it also has the strainer inside, and the nonstick is. Great, like honestly, love it so much, but I'm excited to cook with it today. Just a side note, I'm gonna have my iPad in the back, so in the time lapse, if you see me watching my own video, it's because I'm reviewing it. I think people underestimate the amount of time. Hi, sweet girl. Oh my gosh, she heard a sound outside. I think someone's watching a game and something good is happening and they keep cheering really loudly, which I respect. But I think people underestimate the amount of time that it takes to do a YouTube video because you also have to make sure that it is actually good to go after you kind of scrub over it a couple times. How are you? How are you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Sweet to me. Me? Just trying to catch you this. <laughs> <laughs> just like spray you at the full hug. That'd be horrible. Oh my god, look, she ran over. Yeah, could you imagine if you were just so mean to me? <laughs> just scream at you. Girl, Oh my goodness. Why is it this right? This is the one by the way. You ever have food poisoning? I'm so hungry. You ever, you ever have food poisoning before? No. Okay, I wish I had timed it, but we have a salmon bowl. I'm gonna finish reviewing this, and then back to some editing. I love it. What a great day. It is so beautiful outside as well. I think we need to go for a walk. Finishing up my editing for the day, and I've put on YouTube this little autumn playlist, and it is so wonderful. I am going to continue to dig into editing because I am in the flow and might as well keep it while I've got it. But I'll wish you guys good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.